here's a couple laps at uh, Monaco. I'm in Dan Gurney's Formula One Eagle from 1966, chassis 101, with a 2.7 liter Coventry Climax engine. Puts at about 270 horsepower. You'll see in this video that I get passed by wings and slicks, uh, Cosworth DFEs at around 500 horsepower. So totally outmanned, but hell, what the, what the hell? It was just an insane experience. So um, you just hear the brake squeal. You can't put any heat into the brakes because you start locking up the tires because the tires never warm up if they take so long. So if you're really going to stomp on them, you're going to lock up either the fronts. And once the fronts go, then the rears start going, and then, hello, the car starts coming around. Going through the tunnel, check this out. There's the apex coming out. It looks like you're blinded for a little bit, but you're really not. There's, uh, you know, it looks a little more dramatic. There's the guy waving the blue flag, as usual, at me all around the track, because there's a lot more faster cars coming up. I think there's a McLaren passes me on the inside here. There he is. This is what 500 horsepower looks like. See that? Wah, bah, bah. So there's a swimming pool. We're out in that area. A couple more turns till we get on the straight. When I first started driving um, this track in practice, I was so in awe because it was a lifelong dream. And uh, I was just looking around. I didn't even know where the corners were, what the hell was going on. So I was just, this is totally, you know, just picking myself up by my bootstraps and give it giving it all I had. That's actually pit exit right there going across the yellow line, but it is the correct line. So uh, we just exited Sandoval. Whoops, there goes uh, another high horsepower car with slicks and wings. I'm giving it all I got here. I'm not, you know, the pedals to the floor, but I'm gonna catch this march in front of me, hell or high water. And I start to reel him in. Look at that, he's a little offline there and he just pulls away. So you can see what I have to work with. Just brakes, wonderful squeal. You're inside the car, that's all you hear. It's like Look, at the, look how uh, cranked over that right front is going through that hairpin. So the tunnel is really, really slippery, especially if you're on treaded cold treaded tires. And right here, the I have to stay over because there's someone going to pass me on the inside. There he goes. And um, so as much as I'd like to drive the track and look in front, I've got to look in my rear view mirror so I'm not taking out anybody either. Just a magical experience. Look at that. Go up over the curbs. You normally see F1 car just step out sideways. The Eagles, just the suspension is so compliant. Apex coming up. Boing. So this car is a lot faster than me. I'm just giving him hell. Just trying to fill, <laughs> fill his mirrors just to be irritating. Watch how I come over here. Thinking like I'm going to drop down on the right. Like That's where everybody always gets in a wreck, by the way, right there. They think there's a lot more room, but it tightens up. Okay, so we're, you know, we're going down uh, the straightaway here. Proper line is to come over that pit lane, make a straight line into Sandoval, up to Vaux Rivage. Massenet is at the top. And so, normally, this is where cars just keep going straight right here because it's, you know, boom, they would hit that guardrail. Saw that a couple times. So, this is uh, Casino. Okay, I think I got this guy now. I'm just gonna fill his mirrors and drop down. I don't even know if he sees me. But anyway, steal the corner from him. And I'll just let you listen to the rest. I 
actually you can see there's two races going on only me and then the rest of these cars <laughs> so when you do look at the eagle it's so down on horsepower it has no wings it has no slicks the tires never heat up but honestly it's the prettiest car out there so no one really cares Hear that four cylinder. I'm giving it all she's got, actually. I left a little bit on the table since I didn't want to wreck it and roll it into a ball like about eight other cars did this race. So there we go. That's my lap around Monaco. Car came back in one piece. I came back in one piece. I had a hell of a time. <laughs>